Well, hello everyone, and welcome to a glorious sunset in Quartzsite, Arizona. I know, it seems almost every night we've got these amazing shows, and this video is going to show you just a few, a little bit of a taste of these amazing skies over Quartzsite, Arizona. And I will wow you. <laughs> Look. <sighs> wow. Check that shit out. What? I know. Good morning. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, sorry. Kurt. Never said I was the best camera person in the world. Never. Never once. So, Nugget, are you going to go outside and check it out for a minute? Or can I close the door so I can make coffee? Hmm? Because I have to make coffee, and I have heat on, and I want to be warm. Oh, look at that sun-drunk kitten. Oh, she's so happy. It's like the absolute perfect temperature and wind outside for her to lay right there and enjoy. Oh, she's a happy girl. Yes. And we are all parked. Look at that. Here in this dome rock. There's dome rock back there. And bunny. Yay. It's so exciting. I really, I found a good group of people to be with. Dome Rock. Look, I mean, well, that's not Dome Rock, but it's just beautiful. <laughs> Lit up by the sun setting. This gorgeous, wonderful group of people I found. Dome Rock is there in the distance, but it's a little glary with the sun. I'll show you the mountains on the other side over here. That's gorgeous, right? And there's a little music festival going on in the distance. As you can see, can zoom, try to zoom a little. There you go. Oh, just gorgeous. Look at the sunrise here. Holy cow. Oh, just gorgeous. And there is Dome Rock in the distance. These are my fellow camping neighbors and friends. And there's me. And that is Dome Rock. And you can see the hills next to it are like this beautiful deep cranberry color touched with them, right? Touched with it. And then there's the fluffy little kitten. Who is the nugget? Hanging out. She's a little... Well, it's probably good. She won't try to bolt here because we have Tarak over here and he is a wolfhound. He's absolutely, well, he, um, I'm not getting that exactly right. I'd have to ask Alex exactly what kind of dog he is. Um, but yeah, he's, 
very wolf-like. He's very big. He is very sweet. He really is. Um, but really cool group of people that I'm camping with. And, uh, yeah. I'm not in a place where I have any service. So... I did a little painting this morning and which was nice get my feet wet and I'm going to do some more business card size paintings just to kind of get the ball rolling you know. We had fun investigating this little arroyo that was behind our campsite. I love those Palo Verde trees. So twisted and beautiful. And then getting to bring in the full moon with friends around the fire. Just truly a special event. Coming to Quartzsite is one of those things as a nomad that makes you feel as if you've come home. You are around so many who enjoy the same life that you do. It truly feels wonderful to get together with a group of people who celebrate the freedom of the road and enjoy every single moment that nature gives us as a show, as an opportunity to give it a standing ovation and truly celebrate this planet we are on. Wow, so I just finished listening to some Van Morrison in my van in the morning. <laughs> uh, I love the song Cleaning Windows. Those horns, great way to wake up, I gotta say. All right, but this is what I turned around and saw. Oh my God, I wish my window wasn't filthy. However, so these are all my friends I'm camping with. Yay, nomadic life on TikTok. And sky is in the... <laughs> Has this gorgeous sky in the backdrop. <gasps> the bunny is on the other side of me. And Alex is across the way. So before I listened to Cleaning Windows, I started my day with Good Morning by the Beatles. That was cool. God, I love the rhythm changes in that song. For sure. Yeah. Love it. Whoever said Ringo Starr didn't know what he was doing can go fuck themselves. Just saying. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> Seriously. I mean, yeah, seriously. I know people who make the comment all the time. He was the lesser of the Beatles. Well, you know, dude. Whatever. They each had their contributions that were special. And he wasn't just along for the ride. Wow, it's just such a beautiful sky. It's kind of making me want to, mm, it's kind of making me want to paint it. Mm. Maybe that's a memory piece. So I'm trying to think of a good piece to film myself painting semi-live. So since I can't do a live, since I don't have enough followers yet. All right, everybody. I need a thousand followers. A thousand subscribers. And 4,000 watch hours. Um, in order to go live. Yep. So, I'm going to do a fake live of me painting. Um, you know, call it a paint along. They get long because I have to do a painting from start to finish with you. 
and um, it can be let's see I did one that was an hour and a half and I'd already had the sky finished on that one now if I had recently I did a time lapse of the road of Monticello and I called it the spirit of Monticello the painting and um, that painting took three hours so and I know I did a little one at the gallery that took two hours ish so these paint longs I mean I can try to move quickly for you um, which will kind of force my hand right um, so that's kind of a good thing I would love to do it outside uh, I don't know if that's gonna work I'm gonna try I do have a tripod and this um, this piece can, this piece, I bought it because I could screw it onto other things. Um, yeah, Ooh, that was close, almost lost that piece. It's, it's the only thing I don't like, but it's a really sturdy piece of equipment. The one that came with this is my fallback. Right, like if I couldn't find this, but I love my tripod. This is what I went all the way back to Carlsbad for, and it's worth it. Believe me. Right now, y'all are hanging out on the gooseneck because when I'm in the van, it's out of the way uh, for the most part. Um, I still bump into shit all the time in here. It's like. But I love that this is telescoping. And it's bendy. Right? And you can, like, even do a full. Right? So. Very, very cool. And instrumental in me. Um, being able to do things. Outside. Um. I have a tall tripod, which is what I'm thinking I will use if I do an outside painting. Um, all right, so here's a thought. Okay. If you all are interested in seeing a live plein air well, a video of me painting a painting outside and you'll actually watch the whole thing. Because understand how much time and effort this is going to be for me to put in. And it puts the pressure on me of painting in front of the camera, which gives me horrific anxiety. So, and usually, you know, it's, it's a difficult process for me. So... I'm putting myself on the line and out there. So if you guys want to see it and you're going to watch it. And get me those hours that I need. Right? And if you've been watching all along, yay, thank you. But if you're usually a clicker, you know, consider it. Um, put it in the comments. So, if these comments light up, you know, I'm watching the sunrise color, guys. So, if the comments light up, then, um, you know, I'll know to go ahead and do it and take the time. Um, yeah. There you go. Ball's in your court. If you guys want to see it, you got to... Yell at me in the comments, but nicely. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today, everyone. If you would like to become a patron on Patreon, below in the description is the link. 
and you can be a $5, $10, or $30 patron. I believe you can also make your own tier. I have two people who have made their own $50 tier. So you are welcome to do that as well. This is one of the beautiful little business card paintings I did. Like complimenting the sunset reflections on the rocks. If you'd like to see me continuing to move forward to places like this, creating little paintings like this, please consider contributing to the journey. Take care, everyone, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.